Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I'd show you guys all of my favorite beauty products, makeup products, and like the things I use on a daily basis that I'm currently loving right now in makeup. But before we hop into that, I wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who watched my first video and for all of you who came back to watch my second. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. It truly means the world. And I just am so grateful for everyone who has reached out, um, watched the video, subscribed. It really just means so much to me and I'm super excited for this journey so thanks for coming back for round two um, I hope you guys like it so first things first um, when I'm getting ready in the morning I always start with my Mario Badescu facial spray um, this is in the lavender okay so this is the facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender but I always start out with this and I spray my face um, and then after that kind of dries for like 30 seconds or so, I go in with my L'Oreal Hydra Genius um, Moisturizer. I love this. <laughs> um, this is amazing. It is for normal to dry skin. Um, and I just think it really helps keep my skin like smooth, moisturized, and it's just really refreshing. So if you haven't tried this, definitely check it out. It's amazing. Um, once I have that all rubbed in, um, I do apply that all over my face, down my neck a little bit. Then I go in with, currently I'm using the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. I'm, and I apply this to like my nose and my cheeks, and my forehead and my chin. So anywhere where I get oily, um, I use that. And then after I prime, um, then I go in with my foundation. I currently am loving the combination of these two. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me. Yes, Maybelline Fit Me. I am white as all get out. <laughs> so I use the shade um, 110, which is like porcelain, as white as you can get. Um, I use that and I mix it with, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. It's like their stick foundation. Um, and I'm using this in the shade 401, which is ivory. Um, I think this is the lightest shade that they carry. Um, since this is so white, um, even though it's a little bit darker, when I blend them in together, um, it really creates a nice... Um, base I feel like that's what I'm wearing on my skin today um, and I use it all the time so this is my favorite combo right now um, the L'Oreal is a new addition but the fit me I've been using for years and guys amazing <laughs> it's so good um, so then after I do blend my foundation in I like to first go through with my um, foundation brush which this is the morphe m439 foundation brush um i love that and i really love to blend that in i do have a hard time with brushes though i feel like they are pretty streaky um so i always go in with the beauty blender um afterwards or a beauty sponge sorry <laughs> and i just love the way that a sponge makes my makeup look it just blends into my skin and it looks the most natural i think um so yeah currently i'm using the morphe this is just the morphe sponge it's it's old it's i'm ashamed it's disgusting, <laughs> but I do love this one a lot. Um, I love the other one by Morphe. It has a different shape, um, but yeah, Morphe has great sponges. Um, but once I blend in my foundation, I take my Airspun translucent powder. I love this translucent powder. To be honest, when I smell it, it smells like an old lady. I've gotten used to it. I've been using it for years, but it does have a weird smell in my opinion, but I love this. Like I said, I've been using this for years and I take this, um, I open it and I dump it into the cap and then I take my beauty sponge with the pointer, like the pointed side and I'll dip it in there and I will apply it under my eyes and around my nose. My nose personally gets really oily during the day. Like it breaks up really easily. So I will take it and apply it all over my nose. I do my lip and my chin and I do it in between my eyebrows right here. Um, and then I'll apply it anywhere where I have blemishes. So anywhere I have zits, we cake that on, all over. <laughs> Cover those things up. Um, so that's what I use um, every day to like set my face. And then while that is baking per se, I will go in and do my eyebrows. Lately, I've been trying to be more natural with my eyebrow, but I do like to fill them in sometimes. They're filled in today. This is my current favorite right now. This is just the L'Oreal Paint Pot. Um, it came with, this is the application brush. I use this sometimes. If not, I use a spoolie I have already, and I use I just an angled eyebrow brush. Again, I use the Morphe. Um, this is the, oh, this one's the Morphe one that came in a brush set. I don't think they sell it anymore. I've had it for years, but any angled eyebrow brush will, will do. And honestly, this one's not that bad that came with it. It's not personally my favorite, 
but it does the job. Um, but yeah, the L'Oreal Paint Pot, super awesome for eyebrows. And then when I'm done with that, I do set my eyebrows with, this is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Um, so I will set my eyebrows with this. Um, and it honestly sets them in place. They don't move all day. So I love, love that brow gel. And then once I have my eyebrows done, I go ahead and wipe away um, my translucent powder. I do like to use this. This is just a powder brush. Again, came in my makeup kit from Morphe. You can find any like this. I think this is honestly supposed to be... <laughs> I think this is honestly supposed to be for blush. Um, but I think that it works great for just wiping away my powder. So this is what I use. And then once that's all done, I do set my face with more powder. My mom tells me sometimes I wear too much powder, but what can I say? I love it. So I do use a Fit Me powder. I've popped around from different powders. Again, a powder is a powder. You use what you like. This is what I currently am loving. Um, so this is just the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. It is in the shade 110 Porcelain that goes with my foundation. Um, but I do take this with my big powder brush. Um, I use the Real Techniques. It doesn't even have a name. I think it's just a powder brush, to be honest, but it's the big one. It's the bomb. It's stained because I've used it for so many years, but I just dip in there and I set my entire face and down my neck with this powder. Um, and I found that this combination really works for me personally. Everyone's skin is different, but this works for me and helps me set my makeup and last all day. So I love that powder. It's the shit. Um, and then once I have my powder all set and I feel like my face is pretty, pretty matte. I'm more of a matte person, not dewy. So once my face is pretty matte, then I go through and I take my Huda, Huda, Hula bronzer. Wow. I'm doing really good by benefit <laughs> um, and I apply this again this is almost gone I love this um, powder and then I do take this this is the Real Techniques blush brush I love it for bronzer this is what I've been using for years um, so I just really get in there with this brush and I apply my bronzer I do it too right here on my cheeks um, I do apply it to my nose a little bit down my chin I do have bangs but I still do it every day especially when I didn't have my bangs though um, you would apply it around your forehead um, and just really bronze up the skin especially in the winter give me that summertime glow let's pretend it's summer even though it's not <laughs> so that's what i use for bronzer my blush changes daily i have some favorites this is the shine cosmetic this blush is called invincible i do love this blush by them um i also use you guys are gonna die this is the tarte <laughs> blush um i don't even know what the shade is oh icy Oh, I love that. I'm feisty as hell, so I do use this blush all the time. It's completely broken. I don't even know why I have the cap anymore. I'm gonna throw it away. The feisty blush, awesome. So I use that a lot, as you can see. I really like to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to blush colors. Um, yeah, I really like to push myself to try new things. They look the same. Um, but they're different, I swear. <laughs> and then I also love this. This is the 9B um, Morphe Blush Palette. I don't know if they're selling this one anymore. I just bought my friend a blush palette from them for Christmas. And I was gonna buy her this one, and I don't think they have it anymore. But their blush palettes are beautiful. I bought her one, and it's not the same. It's pretty similar to this. Super pretty. So I do love their blush palettes. I just think it gives you lots of options. Um, some of these colors I use a lot in the winter. Um, I like these darker ones right here in the winter time. I think they're really pretty in the summer. I will touch into these colors right here depending on the look and then of course the naturals I'm using all the time um so yeah this is an awesome blush palette um but yeah I use that for blush and then once I have my blush on I will go through with my highlight now this highlight can we just talk about it for a second this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill champagne pop I've hit pan I love it but it's like $40 so you, you use it till it's gone but this is the most beautiful beautiful blush blush highlight this is the most beautiful highlight um I honestly can't say I've used a ton of highlights um I use this one pretty much all the time um and then let me just show you a little I remember telling like I'm, I'm a beauty guru when I'm not but this is like the highlight I think it's so pretty there you go, if you can kind of see it. Such, such a pretty highlight. So awesome, awesome, awesome highlight. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, once I have my highlight done, I generally before, I just got my lash extensions back on. 
my cat speak English. I just got my lash extensions put back on. Yeah, that's the right words. Um, and so I'm not wearing mascara anymore, but before I would always curl my lashes. I think that it makes a huge difference. I didn't used to. You do you, girl. If you don't like it, don't do it. But I think it makes a huge difference. And then I really love the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I think this is awesome. I think it kind of gave my lashes. This is kind of the brush. Um, I feel like it gave my lashes like the illusion that they had extensions even though they weren't. Obviously if you have natural lashes it's not going to look like extensions when you use a certain mascara. But I feel like that one really did elongate my lashes and I just felt like they looked really good. I also love the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. That is thebomb.com <laughs> so those are probably my two favorite mascaras so that's what I normally do on a daily basis then I do finish off my makeup with I just use the EOS uh, chapstick this is the shit I love this stuff so much this is the one that kind of comes in like the egg shape but they made it into a chapstick it's amazing it's in the flavor mix like their mint flavor I love it so that's like my daily makeup um, if I'm doing something extra like an eyeshadow look or um like lipstick um then i do have some other products that i use so if i'm doing eyeshadow um i do like to prime my eyes with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is just the original one i love it um i love that it comes on the applicator stick you just put it on your eyelids rub it in and then i do set it with a uh, eyeshadow this again guys it's almost gone i <laughs> I'm so sad about it. I'm just so broke all the time <laughs> that I will use products until they are literally gone. So this is just the Ulta Beauty, um, their single eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow colors, and this is in their color Coconut. Um, uh, it's amazing. So this is just honestly really similar to my eye, I mean my skin color in the winter time when I am so pale. Um, I use this one and I just set my primer with it. And then my favorite eyeshadows, guys, Morphe. Like one word for you, Morphe. It, they're just everything to me. So I love the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. Um, I use this one all the time. Probably my most used palette ever. Um, so lots of beautiful shades, beautiful shimmers, mattes. Um, so that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. You can't really see it too well. Um, just a really simple eye look today. I did use colors like this to blend out my crease. Um, a little bit more of an orange. I used this beautiful like pinky color. Um, and then on all of my lid I'm wearing this one. And then I just, again, tap back into those colors that I had pointed out earlier um, to blend it all together um, I also used this color on my lower lash line with this one blended out as well and I just kind of blended out my lower lash line so awesome palette this is very versatile it gives me colors that I'm comfortable with that keep me in my comfort zone and also gives me colors that I am scared of that push me outside my comfort zone um, and I really am getting more into using colorful makeup um, some of these bold blues and purples like ooh. I am excited to do some looks with those hopefully soon um and then i also just got this for christmas i literally wanted to cry when i got it i was so excited and that is the james charles palette with morphe as well um his is a little bit bigger um which i love that they're starting to do these bigger palettes guys such a such a good deal on these palettes like seriously so cheap his has a lot more fun colors. Um, I'd like to recreate his rainbow makeup look. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that. He did this beautiful, like literally, he started with, you know, the one color of the rainbow and worked it all the way through his two eyes to get through the whole rainbow. It was so pretty. I went to the Love Loud Festival over the summer with one of my with some of my best friends and we I did one of my friends makeup and mine and we did the rainbow it's before I had this palette and it turned out okay um, but now that I have this palette and it has these beautiful colors in it I really like to recreate that on my channel as well so hopefully I can do that sometime soon um, so yeah color is amazing to be honest I don't really use any other brand for eyeshadow what am I did you hear that <laughs> my eyeshadows came unglued in this spell I use morphe Morphe, Morphe, Morphe. It's just affordable and such good quality. Like their palettes are phenomenal. And um, I also have the Kathleen Lights in Morphe palette. This one's old, like bajank. You can see it's it's filthy, but this is like one of the first palettes I got and love, love, love it. So yeah, I could go on for years um, about Morphe palettes. I love them, they're amazing. So eyeshadow, Morphe, just trust me. If you don't have one yet, Go buy a palette. They're so good. But basically, that's my eyes. And then, um, 
as far as lips go, love I love lipstick so much. So I love nudes. Um, I'm a really big fan of the, I think these are, yeah, Maybelline um, lipsticks. As you can see, <laughs> nudes, <laughs> they're awesome. Um, so I love nude lipsticks by them. These are some of my favorite shades. Um, I have Darlingly Nude, Nude Embrace, Beige Babe, Nude, I love nude. Um, so if we're talking about lipsticks, those are some of my favorite shades. And then I also really love the NYX Butter Glosses. They are amazing. Um, my favorite shades are definitely Creme Brulee and Eclair. They're so pretty. Um, Eclair is a light pink. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Eclair is this, it's like a light pink, um, pinky nude gloss. Um, so if I'm feeling more on the pinky side, I will do Eclair. Um, and then if I'm feeling more nude, like my true nude on my lips, um, then I do the um, creme brulee. This is my most used for sure. I go through like probably seven bottles a year. I'm not even kidding. I like it because I can throw it in my pocket um, and I can apply it without looking. So I love this because I can stick it in my pocket and throughout the day I can pull it out and I can apply it without even looking. Um, really easy. If I get outside my lip line a little bit, it's not going to matter. It's just gloss. Um, but yeah, really easy. Kind of like chapstick. I can just throw it on whenever. Another color that I love by them is... Angel Food Cake. This is more of a darker color, um, still a really natural, um, it's a gloss, so it's just really natural, really simple, but it does give me more of a purpley pink. Um, I think of it more of as like a mauve, um, and I love this too. Those are my go-to glosses. I go through them. I go through multiple bottles of each color a year. I have lots of other ones by them, but those are definitely my three, three favorites, hands down. Um, another thing that I love is the Kylie Lip her lip stuff is amazing. Um, my favorite one that I wear the most for sure is Bunny. Um, so this is actually one of her holiday collections. My friend got it for me for Christmas one year. Um, and Bunny is amazing. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's more, again, like a mauve pink, um, but it's still like a nude. So it's like a mauve pinky nude for me. Um, I love it. It is matte. I'm not a huge matte lipstick, so I do wear my glosses and my lipsticks a lot more. But if I'm feeling myself, this is my go-to. Um, so that's kind of my lip products. That's overall what I use. I'm um, finishing up the look. I will go back in with my Mario Badescu spray and I will, I'm gonna send it right now because I'm obsessed. I can spray this on my face 12,000 times a day and I just make me happy. It makes me feel great. So I love this. This is what I use to set my makeup. But yeah, Mario Badescu is amazing. Again, I use it at the beginning of my makeup and at the end. I think it's dope. Um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite makeup products. So I'm loving all of these. I've been using these for a few months like consecutively. Um, so they're ones that I've tried and I've loved. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. Um, I'm always trying new things, but these are the ones that I just, I use daily, they're my favorites, um, my diehards, um, as of right now. So that's kind of a little bit about my what I have in my makeup vanity right now. Um, and I'd love to do some more makeup looks. So I think next week you can look forward to a like shimmery, smoky, orange look. Since my eyes are blue, I love orange. So I'd love to play around with... I actually do this look all the time, it's one of my favorites. But I wanna get into the, these fun orangey colors right here, getting some of those. And I like to put the, this one, that's not the one, this one and this one all over my lid um, and make like a really pretty smoky orange look. So I think I'll do that next week so you can look forward to an orange smoky eye next week. So yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys this week. But thank you so much for coming back and watching video number two. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And I guess I will see you guys next week with that fun smoky orange eyeshadow look. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a great week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.